Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to make this kind of transition using After Effects. You can use it to make an image light show or you can use it for your product promo or whatever video transition you want. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna create a new composition, which is gonna be five seconds long, hit okay. And I have all the assets inside this folder. So first things first, let's drag and drop the image or a video here and I'm gonna scale it to the fit the composition. Pre-compose this, all right? Right click and pre-compose it. Rename this ph underscore one ph for placeholder, hit okay. I will pre-comp this again, pre-compose and I'm gonna rename this design underscore one. Move all attributes, hit okay. I'm also gonna rename this comp one, control k by the way to go to the composition settings. I'm gonna rename this comp one to slide one so once you have done that you get you go to the project panel and we're going to organize this all right so create a new folder and i'm going to rename this edit inside this folder i'm going to create another folder which is going to be ph for placeholders and i'm going to drag and drop these placeholders and inside this i'm going to create another folder and i can just rename it to pre comps okay so slide inside this pre comp so in that way you have a well organized let's go and build the transition first here i'm going to grab the pen tool without a fill and a stroke of white color and maybe you will have this around 5 to 10 pixel turn this on title action save make sure you don't select anything in the layer pen to select the pen tool and click here Hold down shift and click it here. Let's increase this stroke size. And first of all, let's go to the align and align it to the center here. And increase the stroke size and cover up the entire composition like this. Once you are done with this, collapse this layer, go to contents, go to shape one and go to stroke because we need, we just drew only the stroke and go to line cap and change it to round cap and I'll show you that in a minute I'm going to add a, a trim path and we're gonna animate this trim path okay so in fact I'm gonna animate from here so from here so it was the cap was at butt cap like this but I want it to be round so I change it to round cap okay that was that was all about round caps so collapse this and we're going to animate this real quick. So starting from, sorry, 100. I'll set this here and go maybe around two second here. And I'm going to set it back to zero. So select all the keyframes. F9 for easy ease, go to the graph. Okay, so if I'm too fast, you can always pause the video and you can, you know, go back and forth, all right? So go back to the normal timeline and if I play it back, so now you have the path. Before proceeding to the mask, double click on this design, go to the placeholder, S on the keyboard, set a keyframe at the beginning here and move forward to the last frame and you can, you know, scale it up like this. Select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease and I'm going to tweet the graph to something like this and move it at the last frame let's close this out so let's go ahead and mask this shape layer to the image okay so you can just select this shape layer one or you can just pick whip and pick it to the shape layer one so before i do that i'll undo that and i'm going to pre-compose the shape layer Control shift and C or right click pre-compose and I'm going to rename this as transition transition one and hit OK so you have a transition one inside this pre-com so I'm gonna create another subfolder here and I'm going to rename this transition so the whole idea of this tutorial is to build a organized structure so that you can sell this project file or you can build a template out of it drag and drop this inside these transitions let's go ahead and mask that out or you can just pick whip on this and you have this by the way i'm going to change this layer to wrap 
and I'm going to duplicate this, select both these layers, control D to duplicate and move it up and straight away I'll go ahead and change this color to yellow and you can come here and offset the timing. So select this design one, hit S on the keyboard and I'm going to scale this up to 150. All right, so let's scale it up to 150. Now that I have scaled it up, you don't you don't see anything because the, the track mat is still set to this track mat, okay? So you're gonna pick it to this transition one, okay? So once you play it back here, the second one comes, okay? So that's very cool. One thing I'm gonna do is go to the effects and presets and type in Gaussian blur and I'm gonna drag and drop this Gaussian blur here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of blurness, blur to this, maybe around 10 pixel. Let's move ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this copy, control D and move it up. And straight away, I'm gonna change this track mat to the this. And I'm gonna change the color so that I know which layer is which. I'm going to offset the position. It's very simple. So you just have to randomize everything so that when it comes together, it looks great, okay? So, but one more thing you wanna learn is how to add textures on this and how to make the next slide. I'm going to hit S on the keyboard and I'm gonna scale it back to 100. And this time I'm gonna add a tint here. Go to the fix and presets, tint, and drag and drop this tint here. And I'm gonna choose, I maybe blue blends a little bit better. And I'm gonna add a texture on top of this. Okay, so I have a glitch texture which I downloaded from pixels.com and I'm gonna drag and drop this on top of this. Here I have the texture, I'm gonna set it to screen and so before masking, I always like to pre-compose it. So pre-compose and I'm gonna rename this texture underscore one, hit okay. And if I go back here in the project panel, I'm going to make another subfolder naming textures because we're going to create another some other slides so all the textures will go here so textures drag and drop it inside these textures and what is this design one doing here so go to pre comps here okay here i have the texture move it here and i'm going to duplicate this transition one control d move it up just above the texture and select both of these layers and make it uh, you know same color and I'm going to mask this out by setting this track mat to this, okay? So if you see now, you can see some textures mapped on this layer. All right, so I'm going to select this layer, Control D to duplicate, move it up above all the layers, and I'm gonna change it back to another color, offset the timing, and I'm going to remove this tint again and Gaussian blur as well. And always make sure your track mat is at this, okay? Otherwise it won't work. Right after this, I'm gonna duplicate this tint, this tint, control D, move it up somewhere here and change this here, same thing here. And I'm going to, you know, duplicate this yellow, which is the, the 150 zoomed version. I'm gonna back it here, drag it here, and make sure your track mat is set to the above layer, which is the transition one, okay? So you just have to play with this, you know, random timing and you'll be fine. Now I'm going to do the final one, which is the red one, control D and move it above all layers. And right after this, make sure the transition is here and the final, okay? So if I play it back, Okay, you can always take your time and, you know, add some other tint or textures on top of it. So I'm not going too much into design stuff today. This is what we have in slide one, which is inside this placeholder one. And let's create the final composition. So maybe the whole video, your whole video is going to be 30 seconds long. So set it to 30 seconds long and rename this to final comp, okay? Hit OK. So here in the in the you know pre comps, and uh, you can you can just slide in this slide one. Well, I'm I'm gonna create another subfolder which is uh, final comps, final comps. Okay. So here 
I ha have this slide one inside this final comp, okay? So that I know that all my final comps are here. So drag this slide one inside this final comp folder and you have this. And how it works is that we're gonna duplicate this, control D to duplicate, and we're gonna stack it on top of this and we're gonna go inside this and change the image. But the problem with this is that inside this slide one comp, you have a bunch of other pre-comps inside this. And if I change something here, it will affect the slide one. So in order for that, we'll have to duplicate all the other pre-comps inside project panel and drag it inside and replace it one by one. So it's gonna take a lot of time. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna use a duplicate function which is offered by AE Juice, which you can download this for free. You can check the link in the description down below. Once you install this AE Juice Pack Manager, you can go to Window and go to AE Juice Pack Manager 4 and you'll get this. Select the composition that you wanna duplicate and go here, click it, hit the duplicate and it's gonna duplicate it here. If you go check in the project panel, you see slide one turns into slide two. It's gonna save you a lot of time. So. Right now I have the same thing. So now if I go inside this or else you, you don't have to go inside this, well, you can just do everything from this project panel now. So I'm going to the placeholder because I have to change this video, right? So go into the placeholder too. So I'm gonna delete this and go inside this asset. I'm gonna drag and drop this. Scale it to fit the composition now and go to the final composition and bam, that is very very fast okay but the problem is that you have the same transition right so we're gonna flip this that's very easy so you don't have to go inside this and mess with all these layers okay just close this go to the project panel and if you go inside this transition now it makes sense right guys so it's a very very good practice to have uh, a well-organized structure like this and if I go inside this transition, I'm going to transition two. And if I change in this direction, so hit R to bring up the rotation, we're gonna set this to 180. Close this out if you go to the final composition. Bam, so you don't have to do anything. But if you wanna change the color of this tint, you can always go inside this and you know, you can just find this uh, tint here and you can you know change it to whatever color you like like this so check out AE juice besides this duplicate tool they have a bunch of other assets which will save you a lot of time and they are very very easy to use just drag and drop and if you don't buy it you still have some free assets you can check it out here and if you buy the all-in-one bundle I have a coupon code for you guys you can check in the description down below I hope you like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.